Hello YouTube, in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to create functions that will work with multiple arguments, two of them, five of them, ten of them, something like that. So void and let's say what we're gonna do, print multiple characters, print multi characters, that will be the name of function and now we need to state, because we are dealing with letters, we need to state that specific data type. So char and then abstract x as a con name for container and then don't use semicolon use just comma and then proceed with epsilon z whatever you like it depends how much uh, arguments you're grabbing for operation and character epsilon and character z and uh, operation will be just printing stuff on a screen see out we gonna grab x and immediately y and immediately after that z and this will give us a very concatenated result but yeah we're gonna fix that custom report uh in a second okay so let's call this function <coughs> print multiple characters and now we are going to say inside of single quotes because this is actual source code C++ one so we must use single quotes for individual individual letters like A and comma and uh, R and I don't know like B or something like that so finish with a semicolon and let's test this stuff and there you go, R, R, B, A, R, B, okay? So this is kind of ugly, so what you can do in this case? Well, the instinct will be to make this code ugly, probably, with something like this. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I totally lost myself. Anyway, like a space here, and then arrows, and uh, arrows again, and this is ugly, but it will work. And yep, so basically we are between these letters, we characters, we are entering this space. Because every time when you press space here, that will not be recognized as nothing like this. It will be really space, one black character. Not black, but uh, blank, yeah, blank character, blanco. Right, so let me test that and there you go you have your solution but it, it it's cryptic it's uh, very ugly it's almost like a pearl i'm not saying that pearl is ugly it's, it's just cryptic right so what can you do in this case well simplify your life by c out and then just call x or don't call, call x like a custom string let's just call that specific container immediately and steal your code and pass it down there a couple of times of course we need to change corresponding containers and now we will have it one after another there you go i i r b okay so now what can we do let me think uh we can create we can grab stuff from keyboard okay so to do that we need to say up here to end user c out c out enter enter first character or enter char in container x and the line and we need to pass that thing to x container and let me steal this code down there to save a little bit of time so we are grabbing y and down there we are grabbing z and also here don't forget to change that and now we can uh, substitute these hard-coded values with actual containers x and y and z 
I can also use here A, B, C, whatever you like, like container one, container two and three, but that's a lot of typing. So don't be confused because we are using same stuff here and down there because this is function creation and this is function usage down there. And it's, as I said, this is like a mental vertical boundary here, okay? Okay, so let me test this code right now. And I have a problem. Let me let me see what's happening. What is there? X was not declared. Oh yeah, so <laughs> every time when you want to use something, you need to declare that thing inside of main. It's not important you have it here. You also need to have it down there because this is individual section, okay? So yeah, sometimes you will run into this error and that immediately means that uh, up here you need to say, in this case, that we are creating characters like uh, empty containers uh, with names X and Y and Z. So the thing is that here you don't need to say one after another char X, char Y, char Z. You can, you can have that thing on the same line. And I have dogs outside yelling, so I don't know what's going on, but I hope that you cannot hear that because it's annoying. Anyway, let me <laughs> let me test that. Okay, so there you go. Enter character like uh, G and um, K and L, and there you go, G K L. So this is a stupid example, but it's nice for illustration. Okay, so next thing, what we can do here, we can create uh, like a calculator. Yeah, let's do that. So let me delete this stuff and we're going to create uh, another function here, calculator. And because we are dealing with integers, uh, let's say integer x and integer y and we will just do classical multiplication. So to have multiplication we also need to declare here empty container for a result and of course don't forget data type okay so result is the name of container how we are going to get it well x multiply by y so now that is not enough, this is just operation. Now we need to print that result inside a function. So when, it, when we call it down there, everything will be done automatically. See out custom report, custom string, whatever, multiplication, and we are grabbing stuff from a result container. And now down there we can use it. So calculator and let's say five and 10 will uh, yield us obvious results. There you go, result is a 50. Well, that's pretty much it. Just remember when you're grabbing stuff in C++, uh, I mean arguments, definitely pay attention about data types, okay? So that's it in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next one. And sorry for my dogs uh, yelling in the front of the house. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm too lazy to get out to see what's, what's happening. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you there.